Dave Mosher here, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com, the Discovery Channel's website about all things space, and I'm bringing you guys the weekly wrap-up and preview for the site. Let's jump right into things. This is Space Shuttle Endeavour landing successfully at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Brought seven astronauts home after they installed a pee recycling machine. Kind of gave them some trouble. They managed to fix it though, get some uh, samples back. And uh, also they repaired a solar array joint which helps orient the solar panels of the space station toward the sun on one end of the space station. So that's cool. Also want to tell you guys about this. This happened last week. This is a University of Calgary student recovering a meteorite on top of a pond in Canada. Remember that fireball I told you about last week? That is a piece of it. So it's pretty cool. They, uh, there's, it's a well documented meteorite. It exploded over Canada and now they have pieces of it. It's made of this uh, uh, rocky type uh, material called chondrite and it's actually pretty common. About 80% of meteorites are made of it. And uh, last thing I want to tell you about is this. This is the view outside of my fifth story apartment building in New York City. And right up there you can see the moon and a couple of uh, two little dots. One there and one there. That's Jupiter and Venus. And it's a rare, it's not a really rare occultation, but it's pretty cool. And if you look at it again, it kind of reminds me of this. Kind of looks like a frowny face. So it's kind of funny. It's sort of a, a frowny face frowny face occultation of the planets. And uh, that should do it for your weekly wrap up. Let's get to your preview. Before I get to the preview, I just want to let you guys know a little tip here. The Discovery Space site is going to undergo some pretty big changes the next couple of months, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, that being said, let's get the preview. I have a my take from Leroy Chow, who is a retired astronaut, on how NASA should cooperate with China, because they're doing all kinds of cool stuff in space. They have done a spacewalk, they've orbited around the Earth. They, they're catching up pretty quickly to the US and Russia, which are currently the only two really viable spacefaring nations. So that's really neat, and definitely check that out. Probably gonna run that on Tuesday for you. I have a puzzle coming on Wednesday and another my take on Thursday again about that Phoenix, um, Death of Phoenix that I tried to get to you last week but it was vacation and I completely forgot. So uh, I'm going to bring that to you this week and I'll wrap your week up with a space photo quiz as usual from Star Tales which is a thing done by Lowell Observatory. So thanks for tuning in.